So I'm talking to you, uh, to you about ancient symbols. What are symbols? Well, symbols are the root of words. The nature of symbol is a nature. There's nothing new under the sun. Since mankind has evolved from one solid organism into apes and into walking humans and we've evolved into humans, we use symbols as a way to try to communicate to each other what we wanted before we really developed even um, a complicated speech pattern. So we see that in cave paintings. Those are ancient symbols. Um, so symbols started to evolve, so we have very basic symbols, they started to evolve and take on more meaning because they were trying to communicate in depth and more clearly what they wanted other people to understand. Um, so then we see it went into religion and religion, they become even more and more complicated even though the root of all symbols worldwide are all very universal or in nature. Take the sun painting in the background. I paint using ancient symbols. The sun represents the intellect. The sun represents joy, prosperity, abundance. The sun comes out, everything grows. But in the negative, there's always a negative and a positive to every symbol. It also can represent destruction. And it can cause us to go into famine because it scorches the earth, which is destruction. And, be, and being overheated can kill a lot of people, like what happens in um, the Middle East, like in India, when they have a huge heat wave. So this, it's, they're both positive and negative, and that's how it goes into the tarot. So if we're looking at symbols as not being evil, even though that they can represent and communicate evil to you, doesn't make them evil. The tarot and ancient symbols... And anything like all seeing or anything that isn't evil, it's just a representation or a word or like a pictographic alphabet. And the alphabet was evolved from ancient symbols worldwide. So there's nothing evil about, about symbols or tarot cards or it doesn't matter what it is. Even if you see it as a, um, Satanism versus Christianity and we, we, we look at... The cross represents the crossroads. It's it predates Christianity. The sacrifices you have to choose one road for another, and you have to give something up. Um, so we're looking at this in a very intellectual way, in a very broad spectrum, and that's what symbols are. They're in nature. They're everywhere. So then, in our next video, we're going to go into the archetypes. We're going to talk about how the archetypes are ancient templates using those symbols that speak to you in a subconscious level, and of course ancient symbols, speech to a subconscious level. I'll let you look at the painting I did at the very top there. It looks like a gold heart with wings. That's the wings of Euros. A very ancient symbol. What it represents is in any relationship, but especially romantic relationships, if couples are too close together, the wings fall in on each other and the relationship falls. If they're too far apart, they fly apart. So a healthy relationship, like everything in life, is based on balance. So the key to everything and what this is very philosophical about and what, philosoph what being a philosopher is all about is to know thyself. To know yourself is key. So we're going to go into that in the next video, which is about the archetypes.